Hi everyone, I am MD Shamat Mia. Today I am starting uh, the second part from our access control list because uh, from my recent video I show you only that how can we design for our access control list. Now today I am going to show you the configuration both of from CLI mode from a from our selected computer because the recent videos on my access control list I told to everyone that I am going to block this red circle computer that mean 172.168.0.140 these places will be blocked and I can't uh, communicate with this server so how can I do that if I the first of things if I show you that Okay, if I show that my this piece's uh, IP address is 172.168.0.140, and I try to ping from 192.168.0.100 this piece uh, servers. So if I try this like this way, ping 192.168.0.100, then what's happening here? So it's pinging now successfully. It it is pinging. So there is no connection loss because this time this computer is ready to communicate with each uh, with with to anybody's. So this is not <coughs> listed with block. So I'm going to block this computer by using our access control list with st standard mode. Okay. So I have to click on here this computer uh, and I have to go uh, sorry just a second okay so at this moment what I will do uh, I'm going to click on here this router because this computer and that computers with this suite has uh, built a established network from this router and this server has already made a connection from this router if this computer uh, like to communicate this server so this computer has to be uh, established uh, a network with this router to this router so so uh, I have to work on here this router and I have to select it uh, my CLI mode and if your router has not in configuration mode you have to be select that like this way that's first you have to write on here enable and then you have to put your command uh, it will be configure terminal or con, con f space t then you will find this configuration mode so that's not a big deal okay so at this moment I am doing a few commands in here access list space and question mark then it's showing to us that 1299 this IP standard this is a IP standard access list and this is extended access list so I will make another video for extended access list but for this video because I don't like like to make a longer video I don't like personally so today I am going to uh, make a standard access list okay so access list for the ranges what is the range for a standard access list it is 1 to 99 so I can use in here 50 space <coughs> sorry question mark then when I keep that like that way and uh, after enter I will get those three options the first one is Danny the second is permit and the last is remark okay so I ha so our work in here we have to be block a computer so that's mean the reject okay so access list 50 I have to select in here Danny space and question mark again and it's demanding to me that uh, uh, IP address and this to be match okay so I have to be using here our particular computer IPs and this computer IP is 172.168.0.140 so I have to be putting here that IP address that mean that 
0.0. And I have to be uh, click on here, enter. Okay. And then I have to be because I have to be block on just only one computers specific computers uh, what I what I already declared in here but I don't need to be block others so I'm just putting in here access list mm, permit and so any other computers can communicate with each other except that one okay I have to press in here enter oh sorry I have to be just a thing. Access list mm, permit. So, okay, 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 okay. What I did wrong, so I just forget to write in here. Fifty is the standard range, so permit, and that was on for my fault at that moment. So it's now okay. So, so uh, by the surface from the surface it's uh, looking that uh, my computer is already uh, it's not uh, already blocked but it's not if I'm showing to you that from here with pinging uh, here's my desktop if I click on here and my blocked IP address is 172.168.0.1529 I have to be writing here this this uh, server's IP because I'm not going to communicate my blocked IP to this server and we will see that it's not blocked till now okay so I have to write in here ping one uh, what was my uh, server IP 192.168.0.100 I think yes there's the same IP in here and press enter yeah it's 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 not um, uh, it's uh, unable to uh, connect because because here is a here is the logic I need to be uh, clear that because I told you that till now my computer ha has uh, it's uh, unable to communicate this but it's not that's me that that's uh, that's the mean was um it should be like that but uh, uh before this video i just created uh some few more commands uh before i uh, started to making this video i put some few more co commands as a practice and that's that is now working at this moment so so that's why my computer is not uh, able to communicate the server but I want to show you that few codes okay I want to show you that few codes at this moment and after putting those few codes after blocking my uh, IPs to my server uh, my uh, PC's IPs uh, then the computer will not able to communicate with anyone okay so I'm just going to show you that at this moment so that that uh, commands should be like this way that uh, before I uh, give you those codes I, I have to be show you some things with graphically that this is my PC is one which IP address is 172.168.0.140 it's working in here with this router and this router to this router has a red color communication and this communication is uh, linked it's uh, it's uh, linked with serial port connection okay so when this computer is going to communicate with this server so that's mean that that's uh, so this computer this computer it can't be uh, access this server because it is not allowed to uh, outbound to work so that's mean the outbound because this PC when try to communicate with with its router to my server's router so that's mean 
is going to make a connection with outbound so outbound is not allowed but when this computer is trying to this PC so that's mean that this PC will be this PC will be communicating here okay and uh, and uh, so so we know the outbound and inbound when this PC is try to communicate with the server that means it's uh, trying to make a communication it's trying to establish a communication with outbound but when this PC uh, PC 0 want to communicate this PC 1 or PC 1 is communicate with PC 0 so that means th they are trying to make a communication with inbound okay so that's the difference between outbound and inbound so I'm going to again click on here with CLI mode and I have to be writing here interface S0 slash S this is the serial port and uh, when I put this connection serial port then I have to write in here uh, IP okay and access group IP access group if you are making this code if you are making this code at the first time so you have to put this code without this code your blocked PC will not able to able to uh, you uh, without these few codes your blocked PC will never uh, work like as enable or blocked computer okay so we have to put those codes first after you're doing all commands okay so IP access group so you have to write in here just a few seconds please uh, the code should be in here uh, PC or standard access list frame and then oh okay and you have to write in here uh or Ethernet Ethernet interface and Access group fifty eight. So first that means so that's uh, that's the mean that we have to be declared our serial port interface. Then we are going to sh make sure that this computer is not able to work with outbound by using those routers because it's a block. It's a block for communication with outbound process but when this pc0 communicate with this computer this computer is communicate with this pc so that's mean that they're there uh, and, and that's mean that that is inbound and i just have put in here the inbound code so uh, interface a0 0 so that's the um, ethernet port and uh, when they are trying to communicate with each another inside their own router so that will be uh, inbound work so I just uh, doing those few codes in here and if I try to communicate now the same thing will be happen again uh, so if I try to pinging so this uh, this is my blocked pieces computers and I'm trying to communicate again my servers okay and it will show me again uh, the unable to reach okay or something like that the destination host unreachable that put 192.168.0.100 okay destination host is unreachable and now this time how can we breach that so for these things uh, what the code should be like this way that uh, no access list 50 okay no access list 50 
when I write in here in this code, that's uh, that's that's the command for no access list. So what it will make to us a result for now, if I try to communicate now, uh, ping one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one hundred. Now our block PC is not a blocked PC only. It's now able to communicate with our server. So this is the basic things with our Cisco packet to serve. Uh, how can one PC is unable to communicate with another PC? So and uh, so the first thing you have to be uh, declared your uh, you have to be declared your access list access list type which type you which uh, with access list which type of uh, access list you like to be work for blocked your uh, specific computers and when you selected that after that uh, you have to be uh, upload all informations to your router to your blocked pieces routers what I did already from my CLI mode and those uh, those upload to all information all information uh, uh, upload to my router uh, those code was uh, only on a few of code was I write write those after when I uh, done my all commands basically and then when you try so your PC will not able to co communicate with outbound and when you write in here no access list 50 so that's mean that uh, your uh, your all access list uh, type what you uh, working before after before these commands it will not working now so like this way you can uh, easily make your access list with a standard range and I think that if you try this all process at your home with Cisco packet tracer then you will be your concept will be very clear and uh, just to make a subscribe and uh, subscribe about my channel because if you subscribe my channel then I will feel more inspire inspire it will inspire to me that make more videos with more uh, technical issues so it's very difficult to make the technical issues uh, issues because I try to best my quality should be good quality to everyone so just giving me subscribe thank you very much and I hope the next video I will make that for extended as well thank you hope uh, you will enjoy this video thank you very much